Michael, I'm torn. I'm torn. I'm like Natalie and Brugley over here. I'm fucking torn, all right? Because I love me a good Metroidvania, but I don't know about this game with the rabbit with the big mecha arm. It doesn't... Those words together don't make any sense to me. Is so. this that Lunatics reboot? It is. It is. Now we're playing Fist Forged in Shadow Torch. Oh, you guys really, really worked to make that happen. Oh, look at they this really guy. Did. So welcome back everybody to the dojo. I'm Jeff. I'm Mike. Um, it's a new Metroidvania. I got a rabbit, a big, a big ass arm. Uh... Yeah, let's see what let's see what, what goes here. Oh no, my shame! I didn't play this game at all. No, <laughs> you're crazy. You're an insane person. This I don't know what you're talking exist. about. Whenever you download this game, it comes with one save game that's already been played. So that's what happens when you buy it used. Yeah, <laughs> I bought a digital game used. <laughs> Wait, isn't this is this Jack and Daxter or what? It's a Sly Cooper. Oh, okay. This yeah, is a Sly Cooper different. reboot. We, is this a game for furries? It, it kind of is, <laughs> at least from the look of her. Because like that that rabbit looked like a rabbit, but this is like a sexy lemur or cheetah or fox or something. I don't, yeah, I don't she's know. She's got a giant rack that's jiggling as hell. Yeah, it, is it? I wasn't even. I was focused on the action. I wasn't looking at anybody's. D d d I don't know, I'm assuming it is too. I, I put the age. The chest was huge. That's all I assumed. <laughs> I put the age to 99. I don't know if that made a difference, but troll the grandmas uh, out there. Wee! Do you remember that in Dead or Alive too? They had like an age setting in the options menu, and the higher you put it, the more jiggle there was. Oh yeah, I do. That was so stupid. Because no fucking teenager wee! didn't put it as high as they could. <laughs> yes, sir. I'm 99. All right. Uh, okay. What is... What? I think it plays Jack 2, right? Like, this is kind of... It reminds me of Jack 2, yeah. some Jack 2 vibes. There you go. Get it, girl. It has a rabbit look so much like a normal rabbit, but she's... That does not. She's like, yeah, she's a sexy, she's a sexy cat lady or something. Oh, no! Damn. Damn. I will not let this Man, this looks really good. Oh. Yeah. Hey. Oh, Jesus. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is that rabbit like a regular sized rabbit? And then he's got a giant mech suit, or what's going on there? I don't know, but he's fucking like, what the fuck? <laughs> he's like Iron Man or something? Uh oh, what know. happened? Oh, she blew everything up. Wait, is he wearing a Pacific Rim? Is that a Pacific Rim? It looks kind of like, like Gypsy Danger. All right. Cool. Meanwhile, at oh. the noodle stand? Noodles. Oh. His name is Ray. <laughs> Ray just, the rabbit. It's Ray. Here you go. Ray is this a Is this a reboot of, um, what's that, what's that old, like, 3D Realms game or whatever? Jazz Jackrabbit? Is this a Jazz Jackrabbit reboot? No one has said those words in, like, 20 <laughs> years, Jeff. Rayton. Oh, man. My friends call me Ray. Your bad bad voice. You know Urso. He spends his days cooped up tinkering with things. Is he married to a sea witch? Oh. oh. I almost forgot. Oh. I've got a surprise. The bare necessities. It's a. Uh, is it a digital camera? Here's old Urso's latest invention, MCI radio. Oh man, it's, it's mostly plays Metallica. <laughs> I made it look old, so it's just. This like is just a zone. <laughs> Let me show you how it works. It's the Halo zone, which makes it special. Furnizens. Oh. Oh, is he? You probably shouldn't do that, oh, Urso. We live in some kind of like authoritarian robot state, apparently. So to celebrate his birthday. Yeah. <laughs> Ever since the big boom, curfews and weapon searches have destabilized things. Oh no. Ever end. The big Fat Bitcoin boom, or what was the, what the was Dogecoin the, boom? Oh, the That's Dogecoin the boom, Dogecoin. yeah. Uh, the Dogecoin was the default, though, in this universe. I've really been giving him the boot recently. <laughs> Went and hacked those Iron Dogs transformer system. Oh. Oh, okay. What is that? What, what do you have to do to make a cryptocurrency? Can I make a rage like cryptocurrency? Technically, you can. You could, because Dogecoin started off as a joke too. Like, 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 uh, I want to be uh, what Logan Paul, where you like, you're like, hey, everybody, buy my Bitcoin, and then suddenly you got a billion, like, Ethereum, and then I, as I understand it, you can use that to make real money or somehow question mark. You can use it to buy NFTs, and then the NFTs are worth a lot. You sell them to like a, you sell them to like a a, a gallery or something. Scrap. 
entire armor. Oh. Oh, so it's like that armor that that other rabbit has, but it's just the arm part. That's fascinating. Yeah. yeah. Crack a lacking. It's been six years already. Even if you manage to fix the fist, <laughs> what can we do? <laughs> what is this moody rabbit? It sounds it's like a super moody rabbit. <laughs> he almost sounds like Ron Swanson. That's. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, the rabbit? Rayton? Yeah. Well, like, and sometimes in certain ways he talks, it sounds almost like like Ron Swanson, but then it goes into, like, Cloud from Final Fantasy VII. Okay. I don't know. I don't know either. And we're, we're missing all the pathos. All the pathos. Yes, the pathos of the... The next day, <laughs> motherfuckers! That caught me off guard. Oh, shit. What happened? What's Did everybody come for the birthday party? Was the birthday party a success and I left? The oh, bear no. got really drunk and just attacked everything. Dogs just came to the noodle stall and took Urso away. Sass, son of a this bitches. Urso's, but I hit it for him. I don't understand this veteran stuff. I'll leave it in your hands. Okay. This machine still works. Let me try to get a fix on Urso. Oh. Oh. Oh, man. Okay. Urso's been taken to Torch Tower. That's it. He's done for now. Not if me and my big fists have anything to say about it. All they do is torture balls. <laughs> That's why they call it Torch Tower. What can we do? Uh, I'll head over to Torch Tower and bring her so back. How many times can you say Torch Tower? Torch Tower. Torch Tower, tower tacos. <laughs> uh, Torchies to the tower. You know that her. How does this? Who is this? Like a tanuki or something? Or is no, he's a red city. panda. Red panda. Okay. Yeah. How does he have a mustache? Because uh, they all red pandas have mustaches. Haven't oh. you watched Kung Fu Panda? No, I don't right. even know if he has a mustache. In that, to be honest. Wait, is it red panda? <laughs> oh, that's Dustin Hoffman's character, yeah, right? Yeah, Hoffman's okay. character is a red panda. All right. Ah, uh, here we go. Oh, it's in the fucking Star Fox Brigade with Slippy Toad and. That's right. Yeah, we said this was a Star Fox like fucking Star Fox Adventures Rudy too. Rudy for what was his name? Pepper? Peppy? Peppy? Was it Peppy or Pepper? I don't. No, Pepper. Pepper. General Pepper was the dog, right? Then it would be Peppy, right? No, I don't know. I don't remember what his name was. I guess it was right. Peppy. Whee! Save your bombs. Let's do this. Do a barrel roll. All right. Fuck you. Bammo. R2 D202. I get it. What? What was that? The enemy's name was R2 D202. Oh, was it? Yeah. Oh, shit. Ah! You can do an execute. Yep. Once they get all glowy, you could. What? Thank you for putting the tutorial right over my cool moves. This escalated pretty quickly. <laughs> Games. <laughs> cool. I'm what okay with that. Oh, shit. The Yakuza. <laughs> Kiryu Kazama's in town. Fur for one and all for fur. <laughs> I know those guys. <laughs> They're from My Hero Furcadamia. <laughs> uh, the All Fur Society sure gets around. Okay. This game is furry as fuck. Uh, yep. I don't really care, though. It appears to be a cool-looking Metroidvania, so, like, it could be furry. That's fine. So what was that What was that other one? What was that one that was, like, the 360, like, indie dev one that was a big deal that everybody liked for a while? Do you remember what I'm talking about? Dust? Utopia? An Elysian <laughs> Tale? You remember oh, yeah. That? No, I remember uh, that, yeah. The other, like, super furry Metroid game where I was really torn because I kind of hated the anthropomorphic animals, but I kind of liked the fact that it was a Metroidvania game. That happens, Ow, fucker. I like the look of this though. Like, get, I get remember it. when they announced this thing, everyone was really confused by it. But like, what the fuck? Every time I saw gameplay on it, I'm like, this looks like Ooh. it'd be kind of fun, actually. Yeah. Uh, okay. All right. Yeah, and it's a straightforward little Metroidvania game, which I appreciate. I played. I, I'll be honest. I mean, you know, don't 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 get uh, don't don't like why? Why do be mad at me. But I did play for a little bit, and um, and why aren't we allowed to recharge? Oh, God, can you guys talk any slower? Bear hacked our system. Stupid bears. Stupid bear hacker. <laughs> Billy Bear Thornton. I forgot about that. Over here, Did hacking our systems. Wait, no. If, Johnny if Bear Miller. J Barry, I, Barry Lee Miller. Barry Lee Miller. There you go. I got it. Uh, Those are little robot furries. Yeah. Get ready for some shit. Oh, shit. Ow. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> Kill Jimmy Lee. Eh. Ow, come on. Yeah, bear. Ah, Splamzos. That's so All neat. Right. Transformers. What did Urso get up to? It's just a toilet, man. <laughs> yeah, it's like, what? 
I want my toilet to do that though. Every time I flush, <laughs> super, li- yeah, I wanna, gives I wanna, you a wall jump. <laughs> put a bunch of uh, RGB ground effects on my toilet so that whenever I, uh, oh, so yeah, now you can like vault up over walls. And you got these little piggy banks. They're full oh, of uh, cash that you can use to buy stuff. Watcha? Um, Missing map data. Mm, looks like the tracking function is still offline. Right into Urso. Right into Urso. Huh? Nope. I need to get to Torch Tower right away. Have we had any other... Oh, no, we had Axiom Verge. I was going to say, do we have any other, like, uh, Metroidvanias this year so far? I think I mean, Axiom Verge 2. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess that was one, was it? I'm trying to think if there was anything else. I think it was, like, a, one of those weird, like, kind of soulsy ones that came out a little while back, but I didn't play it. Um, was that the one with the giant drill? No, that was last year, wasn't it? Which one? The drillhead one. Ah! Blasphemy. Fucking... Oh, no, that was like two years ago. Okay. Um, Time is a construct. Yeah. Uh, no, I know there was something. I, I just like to make hearing what it was called. Yeah. Uh, you know what this reminds me of a lot is that, do um, you remember that Strider one? Oh, yeah. Uh, the, like, the, Strider the reboot sequel. One? Yeah, or reboot or whatever. Uh, that was really good. I really like that one quite a bit. I like that one a lot. Um, great, great intro sequence. Is it weird that I? Uh, is it weird that I kind of like the fact that this doesn't have some kind of like Dark Souls esque stamina system? <laughs> yeah, because everything because <laughs> everything does started fucking doing that because of Dark Souls. Yep, and it just gets kind of annoying real fast. It's like uh, that's fine. I mean, I don't have any problem with that system, obviously, but like everything it's just the it's just the the new, the new hotness, right? Yeah, everybody feels the need to do it, and that gets kind of irritating after a while. Like a recharge system for like these things. Yeah, everything has like a weird cooldown. Like there's nothing that's like, oh, you need to recharge uh, your fist watch out, or whatever. Watch out. So, so far. Whoa, look at that dog! Wait, that's a meme, isn't it? With the beer. The do- oh yeah, I didn't uh, think it was actually. Yeah. Uh, the guy pointing it. I think it's the same color too. Is the one? Is it green? Is the the? Oops, shit! Oh my god. Uh, like it's the old timey looking dude with the smile on his face. Yeah. In that exact pose. It's like beer. It'll get you fucked up or something like that. Well, I think that's uh, the, yeah, the meme version of it. Yeah. Oh, I got a plant seed. What What was that? Uh, well, above there was like a thing that I couldn't get to. Oh, okay. Um, I was just curious if that was something eh, that eh, you eh. had the ability to do yet. No. Nope. Got to get some more stuff. At this point, we don't really even have the chance to. Uh, that's another thing I was kind of interested. Uh, it's kind of interesting to me is that this game doesn't have like regenerating health, and it also doesn't have like. No, I it guess, doesn't. Uh, not as near as I could tell so far. That's kind of refreshing. Actually, here. Today, is today's moon pretty? Oh, I wonder if I have to have like the, the furry password to get in there. <laughs> the moon not- is very <laughs> sexy today, covered in my ears. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Like, that's not the password. Get out of here, you perv. <laughs> uh, this is a bar. What the fuck's wrong with you? <laughs> oh, that's right. I can't get in that direction. I do, though. You know, I'm always a big fan of, like, there's something that I love about whenever you get, like, a new type of game. Fuck it, uh, That just uses it. You know, this kind of reminds me a little bit, like, in a certain way of the Ascent. Um, in that, like, it's not especially doing anything, like, um, new from a... Like a te- from a um, like mechanical angle, but it's just using like, hey, graphics, look how good they are. Let me just make a Metroidvania, but like with really, really, really good graphics. I think that's uh, why I, I like the look of it still so much because they didn't they didn't try to make it like super cartoony. Yeah, like some places try to do with the not with the Metroidvanias, but like indie indie-ish type games tend to lean towards that more. But this is, yeah, everything is very nice it's looking. Crisp. Yeah, even when the they zoomed in on Urso and, and Rayton and all them, their fur it was really real nice looking. Yeah. Oh fuck. I got it. Like it didn't look it didn't look like a solid piece is, is a good way of putting it, yeah. Execution! Oh shit. Oh, nice that's fucking cool. Plus I really like that. <laughs> that's really cool. Me too. Alright. Wee! Got one of those. Let's so if you get it. three of those, then it ups your health. Oh, it's cool. like a little uh it's like one of those Zelda Zelda piece things. But is. All right. So do you level up or is it just getting things? Uh, you buy upgrades. Oh, okay. Uh, so if you go here, this is like the map, but then like the thing is that you'll get, you can buy different abilities, but then there's, there's two currencies. There's the, you see down there, there's like little like yen pieces or whatever, like with the hole in the middle. And then above it, there's a little thing that looks like a drink box or whatever. Okay. That's like a, or no, that might be something. Anyway, there's two currencies. You get one from like bosses and then you get one from just like killing the mooks. Um, yeah. In hey, fact, here's the thing. Mappo. Mayor during curfew. Word of Ur- 
Crusoe's arrest has gotten out. Are you a are you an Alabama bunny? He's got maps to the stars. <laughs> you sure keep your ears close to the ground, kid. I'm going to Torch Tower. Show me the quickest path. Oh, he's got the map. Okay. Straight to the point. There's a ventilation port outside of Torch Tower. Oh, fancy. And right next to it is Cameron Crow's house. <laughs> I don't get that. He's a crow. Oh. <laughs> okay. Like Russell Crow. I was trying to think of like celebrities with animal names. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was the first one that came up. You've discovered me and Urso. Uh huh. Uh huh. Our organization's taken over those iron dogs. Okay. So yeah, this is the terminal. These are like checkpoints, uh, so you can repair, which uh, gives you back all your health, recharges everything, and oh. then uh, you can unlock skills. And yeah, it appears that there's like, there's the, like the the fist, but then there's like two other things that I don't know what they are. Oh, okay. But then you can do like here's uppercut is a hundred. So you see that the second currency you get like one of those for killing oh. a mini boss. Um, so like yeah, you can do this, and now you can do bam uppercut, Arr, uppercut. Uh, and then now I think we actually have map data, so we can see where we've been, and we can see where we're going. So, but yes, yep, pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. All right. I really like the look of this game. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, no, wait. Don't go in there yet. I like the dashing. Wee! I don't know. I'm a sucker for good Metroidvania. Like, 2D, 2D games are really... Oh, shit. Wow. Ow. Ow, you son Scratch of a bitch. Blend face. How much is this, by the way? Uh, I don't remember. 20 bucks? 30 bucks? Um, it's not full price. I can say that. That's not bad, considering. I need like a. Um, it's something that will give me like a juggle attack, because I could pop them up in the air, but then I don't appear to be able to do anything to them once they're up in the air. Are you able to like jump up attack? Jump up and attack them? I don't know. Maybe I I'll forget. try it's, it. Yeah, you can. Say with a shot. Uh, what? Is this the right way? Am I going the right way? I have no idea. Oh, I'm gonna go with yes for the cutscene. Why did the boss order us to stand guard here? Uh, because he doesn't like you. There's a group of them, so it's organized crime. They nearly stole the Transformer drill last time. Oh, shit! Not the drill! The <laughs> drill is under heavy guard. It'll, It'll pierce the heavens, they said. Oh, my goodness. So think, are, is, there's got to be a Transformer that has a drill on it, right? Like an actual Transformer? Yeah. Like Drill Zor or... I feel like Devastator has one, but I don't know. No, he's just got, like, regular... Well, no, wait. No, he doesn't. He's got... Okay, what are the... What are the guys of... God, fuck you guys. Uh, what are the Devastator dudes? It's like... The Constructicons? Yeah, what are the Constructicons? There's like... Okay, there's a cement mixer. Cement mixer. The, there's um, a, a... Like a... A, 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 like a one bulldozer. Of those. Yeah. A, uh, Wait, is there a an truck that carries something. Bulldozer. There's the one with like... Oh, a, a truck. Like a dump truck. Yeah, one's a dump truck. One's a bulldozer. And then there's like the one with the little like scoop on the front. Well, that's what I think the bulldozer that I was talking about. Oh, okay. I thought it... Well, I don't know. That has different names, but yeah. Is there both of them? Um... I'm trying to remember what else is there, because that's like what four of them. Yeah, there's gonna be like what, at least. I think one there's more? one more minimum, because it's the body. I think. Uh, is it a crane? It's a crane, isn't it? Yes, it might be. It is a crane. Yeah. I remember. It's got a little crane that arm that comes right. out. Um, what is the, what is the, the 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 Autobot version of that one? Uh, are those those dumb like um, safety bots or whatever? That's like an ambulance and like a, a helicopter. Oh shit. I'm just a snake oil vendor. I, I wouldn't dare touch a weapon. I just sell Viagra. <laughs> <laughs> you know us rabbits, we love to fuck things. Do these guys have like actual like AK forty sevens, but also like big cloud swords? I don't know, it's just a weird world. Like even the outside kinda reminds me of Midgard in certain areas. Bam! There you go. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Wang! Oh man, you don't want to mess with Lo Wang. He does sell Viagra. <laughs> Where can I find the transformer drill? I had the uh, I had the one that was a bunch of like uh, animals, the Predacons. Um, the transformer drill too. That's right. Okay. It's no doubt guarded by a correct. Okay. Talk to Master Wu. The secret door on the left side of my room. That's where Master Wu's group is hiding out. Okay. Thanks. 
cool. Master Wu is really spry for his age. All thanks to Pump. I think you should change the name of your drink. I think you should change the name of your of your drink, my friend. The Wang Pump. The Wang. <laughs> Yo, man, you want some pump? You want to get pumped? Fresh from Wang. What? <laughs> you want that Wang Pump? <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> so yeah, the R two button is like for sub weapons. So you get this carrot juice that you can use to uh, like refill your health, but um, it, it doesn't like regenerate. Like you have to find, um, like there's that little thing in the bottom corner, and that's where you. Uh, that's like the number of charges that you have for it. But you literally have to find like these refills for it in like boxes around the level randomly. Oh, okay. Uh, like it's not something you just get back from fighting or anything like that. So, so. I found a couple of different transformers with a drill. Oh, okay. Uh, there's Drill Dasher. Drill Dasher. Zatar. Okay. And then Drill Bit from Transformers Armada. Okay. All right. And there those, you go. Those are the top three that popped up. Oh, hua! Here we go. And Duron Drill? I don't know. Bunch of Transformers. Ooh. It's interesting that they're like robots. That the the baddies? Yeah, like they're outright robots. Like they're not like people, Shit. fur people in, in outfits or something. Like the game makes it a point to tell you that they're robots. Yeah. Well, you don't want to you don't want you want to be a bad guy if you were killing actual animals, you'd be a a, a They're bad robots, o. Morty. They don't feel anything. <laughs> Did you catch that uh, uh, Rick and Morty season finale? I did. What'd you think? It's the best episode of the season. Uh, I still think Mr. I like Mr. Nimbus more, but um, that's just me. I might have been. That's fair, though. That's completely fair. I might have become disillusioned a little bit by this season of Rick and Morty to the point where the I might have a worse uh, uh, opinion of the final episode than it actually deserves, just because I've been kind of generally disappointed. But well, I think just because uh, the thing is the the final episode. I think it's the best of the up the season because. It actually does something. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good way of putting it. Like you find out a bunch of stuff, and it, it pays off the the thing. You know, with I don't know if I want to spoil it. For hey, anybody. it pays off. It pays off. Some some shit. Stuff happens. Some it shit pays off happens. A lot of stuff is the thing. Whereas, yeah, the pretty much the majority of the season has been pretty Wait. pretty mediocre at best. At best. Uh, yes, I have not enjoyed this season. Except for Mr. Nimbus. That shit was amazing. Mr. <laughs> Nimbus was the best episode of the season. Fight me. And that's like the or first episode of the season, too. Yeah. Oh, shit. Uh, he controls the police. <laughs> <laughs> he controls the police, Summer. Uh, uh, it just cracks me up every fucking... Every time everybody yeah! says it, like, without, like, any sense of irony. Right. Gets me every fucking time. Um, yep. Yeah. I mean, like, I don't know. I just didn't feel like that, that level of creativity was on display this season. It really was Mr. Nimbus, like, um, which is a shame because I was really looking forward to season five. Yeah. And then it just well, like, one of the let things me that, down after that. One of the things that I noticed is that, um, like, in the final episode, they did a they actually did a pretty decent, like, anime parody for the intro. Oh, absolutely. And then you go back to, like, the Gotron one and, like, they did a quote unquote anime parody there and it was garbage. It was just like trash yeah. like oh speed racer right am i right anime am i right and then like no you guys actually knew how to do this you just didn't like yeah. it's weird uh um, it was just a little it was just frustrating because it's like yeah we just like like i wanted the season to be really good yeah because season four was pretty like all the other seasons are pretty good dude i went back and i, I went back and watched what i think is one of the more disliked episodes of season four which is the heist episode i don't know a lot of people seem to dislike that um it's just a weird one and like i think that that episode is like 10 times the episode of most of season five well it's like <laughs> I, I, I realized i gave it I, like i didn't like it as much but i realized why i didn't it's just because it is it is kind of the same joke for chunks of it of but, uh, of the heist episode yeah because it's a lot of it's uh, the you know i I'm in kind of thing. The, you son of a bitch, I'm yeah, in. Yeah, which like for the most part, <laughs> for the most part, like I was like, that's kind of that's kind of the same joke after a while, but oh, at least it's like a consistently funny joke. Yeah, I don't know. Whereas, I liked it. I don't know. Like I don't know. It's hard. To, it's hard to explain. Fight. Like like there's stuff in that. I, I just because I just watched it last night. Uh, it's a really good episode though. Like overall. when he goes into the heist con and he's just like. 
uh, your boos mean nothing to me. I've seen what makes you cheer. <laughs> so there's another part where they boo again. He turns around. He's like, every moment I live without your without your approval brings me power or something like that. That's the thing is this, this sort of, there's the a lot of the seasons are really quotable. Yeah. Even the episodes that aren't like super good are super quotable. Yep. Whereas this season, I don't even see people making memes with the, 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 the with it the way they normally do. Because normally, like, normally when a Rick and Morty season happens, there's, like, memes fucking galore. Yeah. I haven't seen that at all this season. Was it going to be Crow Rick? Crow Rick's pretty cool. <laughs> I don't know. I thought Crow Rick was a real stupid joke. That then, But it was also a waste of time. Like, it was, They yeah. did it, and then they just, like, got rid of it. It was like, right, obviously you were going to get rid of it real early. And so it was just kind of a waste of fucking time. Um, it, it felt like a cold open that normally, that just lasted longer than it was supposed to. Yeah, I don't know. It's just... My power punch! Okay, so we get in our first big upgrade. Um, so you remember that that grate that I couldn't go through before? Oh, okay. This isn't exactly that. This is the, the horizontal version. Um, yeah, so the data discs are the things that let you get the more moves. Data discs. See, son, what I've done is I've teached you how to punch harder. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Have you tried no punching time. harder? I've never <laughs> thought of that, Master Room. <laughs> oh my god, I've got this giant arm and I've been punching. It's been set to low this entire time. <laughs> but you just don't Ray, have you tried turning it up to 11? Right now. Yeah, he's basically saying you're like, you suck too much. <laughs> <laughs> you're not <trusting> <laughs> well. You need to defeat Chen Long to get past me. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Yep. Also punch through the six what a weird fight. fucking world, by the way. Like, there's mechanics and then also Kung Fu Masters. Yep. And like, is it this, like, also, like, theme punk shit? I don't know. It's Yeah, it's got this It's got this weird, like, um, it's got this weird... Uh, hold on, I want to... Oh, wait, I don't think I can... Oh, wait, maybe I can. Uh, it's got this weird kind of, like, Asian aesthetic to it, but then it's also furries, but then it's also steampunk and, yeah... It's a real, it's a real hodgepodge. It's a real mishmash. Yeah. Um, but I don't think that's a bad thing necessarily. It's just interesting to me. Ooh, there we go. Got some Kiyashola. So now we've got uh, hold down the punch button. Whammo! We can open up, uh, open up them doors and break through them walls. Thing will stick. Ooh, oh my God! So far down. Woo! Yes. Punch, kick. It's all in the mind. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so let's see if I can have you seen that meme that started popping up with Parappa the Rapper with Batman yeah yes. like, although with other ones as well but oh, like, I haven't seen it with other, the other ones I only saw the I've Batman seen, one I've seen a few with Parappa the Rapper where it's, just, it's just somebody saying something fucked up and then him like repeating it but <laughs> mockingly yeah but the Batman one's my favorite because somebody actually yeah. animated it yes and it's just so fucking funny <laughs> let's see what are we doing over here somebody also did it with Um Jam or Lammy uh -huh. which cracked me the fuck up so Actually, like, you know, now that you've said it, Final Fantasy VII is probably the best, like, comparison for this thing. That's what, yeah, that's uh, what the area reminds me of the most. Because it's it's kind of dystopian, but then it's got that Asian theme theming going on in it, so... Yeah, because there was, like, backgrounds where I'm like, this would look fine in Final Fantasy VII. God damn. All right. Oh, my God. All right. Well, how about have a fucking nice Hawaiian punch? Oh, shit. All right. <laughs> uh... <laughs> uh Oh, cool. Oh, All right. Got, got a bunch. <laughs> I All don't right. know how you got that guy down. <laughs> Uppercut. Oh, yeah. I was going to try jumping. Uppercut. Oh, there you go. All there right. Go. Yeah. Now you're thinking with jumping. There you go. The most basic verb of all video games. <laughs> I'm like, how do you do it? It's like, I don't know. Try the other button that's not the punch button. <laughs> Why? Because yeah, that's what I would do in um, Castle Crashers. Madness. I'd, like throw a guy in the air and then just start punching over and over again. Bammo. Kablamzos. All right, get the fuck out of here. I hate you guys. I do kind of like the... There's, like, a lot of really, like... Just kind of very old-school positional punching. Like, I don't know if it comes up later in the game, if there's, like, a block or... or there, I know there's a, a parry that you can use a little bit. Um, but, you know, like, when people shoot at you, you just have to jump to avoid the bullet. I do uh, like that a lot, yeah. It's oh, yeah, that old-school kind of idea. Of getting away from something like that. Let's see, what are we doing here? Because so many games will tr like have the gun and then it'll just fire and then you get hit. Oh, shit, like you just have to like jump from the laser this or something. Like a boss room. I don't know that it is a boss room. But see, it like looks this like area here, room. it'll look like something on a Final Fantasy VII. Yeah, some kind of big. One hundred percent. Fucking what is that? Like a lighthouse light? I don't even know what that is. I what is it know. doing? Like a reactor. It's just a giant light. 
reactor or something. Somebody was making fun of us when we were we were playing Metroid Fusion and we had a we had a a, a mission where we had to go to the boiler room and Matt and I were like, "There's a boiler room on this space station," and somebody was like, "You know, they they use boiler rooms for other stuff." Like, you put more advanced things in, like, coal in a boiler. I'm like, eh. Eh. Call it a, a fusion reactor, yeah, then. Yeah, they just, put, they just put money in it. Oh, shit. Okay. That's cool. Thank you. Thank you, Fist, for making, like, the third thing that I get double jump. <laughs> for not saving double jump for the second half of the game. That... You'd be surprised how fucking annoying that can be. <laughs> what was that? There was another game that I remember. What was the other game that came out? Um, ah, man. It was, a, it was another Metroidvania where, like... The first thing that they gave you was double jump. It was like the very first power up. Oh shit! Life of me, I don't remember actually. Is that a monkey? Is that Andros? Get out of here, Andros! <laughs> shit! Ah! Oh shit! Okay, what do you got? Ooh. He's got a rocket bunch. Oh shit! Wah! Fuck! Okay, he comes right back at it. I That's didn't see the second part of that attack coming. All right, what do you got? Do it again. Or it, it's fucking bunch. Oh, oh, shit. No. oh boy. Um, I wasn't ready that time. Ooh. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Damn, that dude just fucking clocked the shit out of me. He quaffed some of this carrot juice. You already had half life. Ooh. Half life. Half life three confirmed. You heard it, y'all. <laughs> Michael just confirmed half life three. They're all furries, though. That's that's <laughs> the difference. <laughs> Gord Freeman's a fox or something. He I gets teleported to a furry dimension, and he becomes a furry. There we go. All right, get out of way. Get out of there. Because to defeat them, you must become one with the furry. Uh, ah, I do not remember the bad guys anymore. <laughs> it's been the, so long. The combine? Is that what it was? Forgot the combine? Yeah, it's been like a very long time since I played that. Well, that's Half Life Two. The Zen were the bad guys in the first one, because you open up that portal in the lab, and then in Half Life Two, it's the combine have taken over. I don't know why. Uh, it was like. To get rid oh, of the shit. furries, Jeff. Fuck. We've been over this. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, no. No, no. Hold on. I'm almost. He's almost dead. Uh, execution. Execute. Oh, shit. Uh, oh, snap. That Boom. was fucking cool. All right. Got him. Damn, we almost died. <laughs> wow. This is tough. I'm carrying a data disc, too. Better report back to Master Marvel. Right. Drink all this stuff so I don't die. Glug, glug, glug. Carrot juice. Yeah, I don't know. I'm probably gonna. I'm probably gonna keep playing this. Like, I'm a. I'm a real sucker for a good Metroidvania. I actually might try to get, um, get this later on. Who knows? You know, I already got some double jumps and some super attacks, and again, <laughs> nice <laughs> soundtrack. Oh shit! Oh boy. Okay. All right. Fuck. Oh, God. Can I just <laughs> grab it? Grab it out of the air. God damn it! There. Okay. Damn it. <laughs> a little anticlimactic, but uh, uh, that's fine. Where am I going? We gotta uh, go see Master Wu about a thing. Oh yeah, I gotta go see a, a. Was that was Master Wu another red panda? I think he was a raccoon actually. Oh shit! I think he was an actual raccoon. Yeah. Fucking. No, I don't want it. Here, here fucking. Oh shit. Oop. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. You stop it. Quit okay. it. Get it. Over there. You want to get up so we can have a fucking fight or whatever? Nope, that didn't work. <laughs> this throw mechanic is a little strange. Just tossing this guy all the way back through the level. It's like, like all the way back to the beginning. Right? <laughs> fucking, yeah, goddamn. All right. I just wanted to see what was in that room. I've got $353. Ah. Didgeridoos. Dollar dues. Yes. There we go. Um, he died at the wall. Oh, hey. There we go. What's in here? It's probably a shortcut. Or maybe some upgrades, some juicy upgrade points. Oh, wait. It is a shortcut. Oh, it's like the uh, it's the other side of the Oh, I like the fact that it's got like the percentage completion. Oh, that's cool. At the top. I appreciate that. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Just walk right in the <laughs> Oh, look at the Uncle Sam back there. Oh, it's like a but it's like a piggy. That's it's funny. got a bunch of Japanese on it or Chinese or Korean yeah, or whatever. Yeah, the world makes no sense to me. <laughs> furries, Michael. Furries. Like, don't you know anything about furries? It has to involve the the, the developer, I assume. The Iron Dogs. It's gonna be something about the Iron Dogs. The Iron Yongs. Um. Well, you know what? I think we're gonna wrap part one up here, but we are gonna come back. 
Is this the... No, I don't know where the fuck I'm going now. Yeah, no idea. <laughs> oh, that... Uh, something we can't do, <laughs> definitely. That's some kind of, like, air dash bullshit right there. Oh, shit. God damn. <laughs> Boy, the... Ah! <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Hit the like, subscribe button. Let us know what you think down in the comments. Uh, make sure to come back tomorrow for part two. Uh, yeah, this is uh, uh, patreon.com forward slash range slight. Uh, I've been saying it a little bit. We had a little bit of a dip last month in our Patreon, so if you've ever thought, hey, I want to be a cool guy, I want one of those range slight. What the fuck? He <laughs> shot me from off screen. Uh, <laughs> want to be one of those cool guys who's uh, Patreon of range select. I want to go hang out on the Discord server and see what all that's about i want to watch those bonus videos and see what so that's all about guys. so many um there's too many there's too many bonus videos i don't know if is that a selling point anymore like for five dollars a month you can get too many bonus videos like like way too many bonus if you videos. start now you can finish next year <laughs> god damn right uh ah there we go um okay yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. patreon.com forward slash range like Rising Punch. We'll do that next time. Michael, where can the people find you on the internet? Uh, you can find me on oneofus.net. We do movies and television reviews. Cool. All right. In that case, we're going to say goodbye. We'll see you tomorrow.